It's main event time here in Manila as we present to you Raymark Caballo against Yuya Nakamura of Japan, our interim WBA bantamweight champion in a 10-round battle against a challenger from Japan as we send it over to, Led to Ted Lerner for our fighter walk-ins. Fight fans, we are back here at the Midas Hotel and Casino here in Pasay City, Metro Manila, Philippines. The action continues and it's all brought to you by Sandman Promotions. This is your main event of the evening now. Let's bring out the fighters. Firstly, from Japan, here is Yuya Nakamura. Yuya Nakamura from Japan has a very interesting past <laughs> as this Japanese fighter has never fought in his home country. Past and path in getting here, no? Because you would expect that uh, he's like, start your career in Japan, no? But ironically, most of his fights actually happen in Thailand and in China. There's also a couple of fights here in the Philippines. Yuya Nakamura, kanina pa nandito in our venue. It was early in the afternoon when he arrived here, tested out the ring, met some people around. And of course, sa mga Japanese fighters, we all know that they are very good stylists. Magaling magpatama. And that is what you're expecting coming from Yuya Nakamura in this matchup. And now, boxing fans, Let's hear it for one of the best Bantamweights in the world today from the Philippines, Raymar Gabalio. We often talk about boxing prospects. And for us, Raymar Gabalio is on top of that list in the Philippines. Well, first of all, partner, it's not easy to win a world crowd. Kahit na sabi mo, maraming organizations, but still, it's so hard to win one. And Gabalio has one title to his credit. Something na maya maya pag-usapan natin yung credibility and importance of that belt para kay Gabalio. Your tale of the tape, the assassin remark Gabalio going up against the problem. Yuya Nakamura undefeated Gabalio, 20 wins. With an 85% knockout ratio, 9, 2, and 1 for the Japanese fighter who is older, 28 years of age. As we send it back to Mr. Ted Lerner. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to ask you to please rise for the singing of the Philippine National Anthem. And here to sing the Philippine National Anthem, independent recording artist, singer, and songwriter, Maya Banawa. Bayang magiliw, perlas ng silanganan, alab ng puso sa dibdib mo'y buhay. Lupang hinirang, duyan ka ng magiti, sa manlulupi, di ka pa sisiil, sa dagat at bundok, sa simoy at sa langit mong bughaw. May dilagang tula at awit sa paglayang minamahal. Ang kisap ng watawat mo'y tagumpay na nagdidigdig. Ang bituin at araw na kailan pang may di magdidilim. Lupa ng araw ng luwal, ating pagsinta. Thank you very much, Maya Panawa. <laughs> Greetings, boxing fans watching around the Philippines and around the world. Uh, we are coming to you live from the Midas Hotel and Casino, Pasay City, Metro Manila, 
in the Philippines. And it is time for your main event of the evening. And it's all brought to you by Sandman Promotions and sponsored by One Pac-Man Party List and Smart and your official broadcaster, ESPN5. Now, this fight is being, is being scored on a 10-point must system. Judges at ringside, Elmo Coloma, Noel Haduka, and Jojo Yalnera. And when the bell rings, your third man in the ring, referee in charge from the Philippines, Virgilio Garcia. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this fight is scheduled for 10 rounds in the Bantamweight division. Now, let's meet the fighters. Firstly, fighting out of the blue corner tonight, wearing gold with black. He weighed in at 119 pounds. Fight record, nine wins, two losses and one draw. Seven of those nine wins coming by knockout. He hails from Osaka, Japan. Let's give a warm Manila welcome to Yuya Nakamura. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner tonight wearing the black, green, white, and gold of the Sandman Boxing Stable. He is one of the best Bantamweights in the world today. He weighed in at 118 and one half pounds. Fight record, he has yet to taste defeat. 20 wins with no losses. 17 victories coming by way of knockout. He is the current WBA Interim Bantamweight Champion of the World. And he comes to you from General yeah. Santos, Philippines. Yeah, Here is Raymark Grande Caballo. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, 10 rounds. Bantamweight division, Virgilio Garcia here with the final instructions. Hey, Mark. Oh, yeah. Hey, Mark. Come on. Oh, yeah. Gentlemen. Oh, yo, yeah. Hey, Mark. This is a 10 round fight. Okay. After the instruction, good fight and good luck. Tasha. Back to corner. This round is brought to you yeah. by Smart as we open things up for our main event. Uh, the evening, Yuya, the problem, Nakamura versus Raymar Gabalios. This program is brought to you by Smart. Join Smart Amazing 25 and get a chance to win 25 million pesos. Just dial asterisk one to one pound right now. Raymar Gabalio, we all know him as an aggressive puncher. When he sees that he has hurt his opponent, he will go for the kill, Dennis. Yes. And Kellen Acosta with the knockout ratio. And right now is able to connect two solid blows. Make the three, four solid punches coming from Raymond Gabalio. Raymond Gabalio already loading up on his punches. Yuya Nakamura, shaky, knocked down in the first round. Still smiling, showing the referee that he is okay. Took the full eight count before getting up. Raymar Caballo wants a quick ending to this matchup. Caballo teeing off, attacking a little wildly. That was one minute into the fight. Nakanak yes. na itong si Caballo. Well, Caballo knows that itong si Nakamura is actually very aggressive. Strong starter, fast starter. Something that he did not Ray Mark dito sa laban na to. Big uppercut. Landing for Gabalio as well. Halos lahat binitawan niya. Tumatama dito sa muka ni Yuya Nakamura. Good snapping jab for Gabalio. In a, to punch holes on the defense in Nakamura. In watching his previous fights, uh, partner, itong si Nakamura is... Kumbaga, yung pirawan sa boxing, catcher. 
Oh, I love that knockdown. That's the second of the opening round for Gabalio. But immediately stood up. And then again, we saw that in the previous fights, yeah, no? Is someone na talagang na nandun para natin, no? Kahit na kakatagat ng mga suktok, doesn't easily give up. One two coming up short for Gabalio. Nakamura turtling up on the ropes. Pero bumabat pa rin itong si Yuya, showing us his willingness to exchange heavy leather with the assassin. Very much, you know, kahit na outclass siya, at least in this round. Nakikita mo, lumalabong pa rin si Nakamura. May bato pa rin si Nakamura. He is responding kahit na maaga siyang napatumba ng dalawang beses ni Gabalio. And he is bleeding from the nose, Nakamura. But, wala pa rin, no? He's not deterred by this uh, onslaught by uh, Gabalio. Gabalio hindi pa rin mapatama yung kanyang right straight down the middle. But he is basically landing everything else, especially yung kanyang mga hooks. What a performance here in the first round for the assassin, Primo Gabalio. Taking a look now at our punch of the round, courtesy of Gabalio. This flurry with his opponent on the ropes. He comes in and lands that straight for the first knockdown of this matchup. That was your hook. So the first knockdown was from a straight, the second knockdown was from a hook, as this round is brought to you by Smart. And easily, no? Kay Gabalio na pong 10 round di yun. 10, 7 round for him. You could not open a fight better than that if you're Raymark Gabalio. This program is brought to you by Smart. Join Smart Amazing 25 and get a chance to win 25 million pesos just style. Aster is 1 to 1 pound right now. You know, if you're someone na hindi ka familiar sa laban ni Gabalio and even Nakamura, you would think that Gabalio is taking his opponent lightly. But I would like to believe that para kay Gabalio, that is the right fight plan to do. Because sa mga previous fights in Nakamura, he's actually, sabi ko nga, a fast starter, pasok ng pasok, doesn't mind kung pinatamahan siya ng suntok, he will always be there, he will always throw punches. Kaya hindi pinapaforman ni Gabalio right now to si Nakamura. Nakamura on the back foot a little bit. As he was pushed back by a right straight from Gabalio. Maganda rin yung patama ng jab. Na nagiging hook, he hides it. Looks like he's throwing a jab. But at the last moment, biglang lumalakas as it turns into a hook. Yes. You can see power in both hands to Gabalio. Oh, another hook landing. Third knockdown of his matchup. That could be it. I think that's the end of it. Seven, eight, nine. stop it. No! Yuya no! Nakamura trying no! to tell the referee that he's okay, but he could not even hang on to the ropes to keep himself in balance. Nakamura might be unhappy with the result, but he was saved from further punishment by the referee. He was being outclassed. He was being punished. Pero nakikita mo yung kanyang determination in this fight, ano? Raymark Gabalio capping off this huge night of boxing inside the Midas Hotel and Casino with a second round knockout against Yuya Nakamura. And what a performance coming from Raymark Gabalio showing to us why we should consider him as a legitimate world champion. 
Right now, there is still a qualifier interim, but soon he will be a world champion. Look at this one two landed by Raymart Gabaglio. He bobs and weaves. He saw that his opponent was already on the ropes, and he lands that cracking left hook to the side of the face. Third knockdown of the match. It would prove to be the final one as this punch of the round is brought to you by Smart. Yuya Nakamura did his best to stand up and be ready for more in this matchup. But the, ref the referee deciding against him, giving him the full 10 count for a knockout victory for Raymar Gabalio. Our ring announcer, Ted Lerner, now head us into the official event. Okay, hi fans, here at the Midas Hotel and Casino, Pasay City, Metro Manila. Referee Virgilio Garcia waves off the bout. The time, 1.44 of the second round. The winner, by technical knockout, still undefeated, now 21-0. From Jensen, Philippines, Raymond Grande Gabayo! Neymar Gabalio celebrating with his Sandman crew as they have a successful evening. Dave Apolinario opening things up with a unanimous decision victory. And then Rutes Romero Duno with a knockout victory, of course, capped with this win, with this handsome win for Gabalio. He is your interim WBA bantamweight champion.